Now this video is a little bit advanced from what uh, the first one on VoiceThread was. This one here I'm going to show and demonstrate how to add uh, a video, uh, something maybe perhaps from um, YouTube that you downloaded uh, with the Wondershare YouTube downloader. I'm going to show you how to do that and then to upload a video uh, from your computer once you've downloaded it and in put it into a presentation, sort of embedded along uh, with the slides in the presentation. So uh, first off, what we need to do is we need to upload a presentation. Um, we're here in VoiceThread and we're creating a new uh, VoiceThread and we need to upload um, some presentation slides. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so what I'd like to do is show you what I do with a student presentation. Uh, to download. I have them in groups and so you see here group one has um, put their presentation into uh, the doc sharing tab of our course management system. So all I do is I click on this and it'll download and put it in my downloads. So once that happens I'll show you, like to show you now um, what I'll do with the presentation once I get it to uh, and get it ready for um, VoiceThread. So we'll get the presentation here, look it over, got uh, about 15 slides here, see if there's any YouTube videos, uh, just going through here and I see here in the notes there's one down here. So I'll copy that and I'll save that um, on my clipboard and then paste that into um, YouTube on the URL. I'll show you that in just a second um, so we can download that video that they want to put in their presentation. And I'll need to remember that it needs to go after uh, slide three, right between slide three and four. All right. So at this point, what I need to do is I want to go to um, Save As because this is a PowerPoint presentation, and the best way to upload this to VoiceThread is as um, video, as as pictures. Okay. So what I'll do is I go up to File, and I'll go to um, first off. I want to save the the slides in the land in the portrait not landscape okay so I want them in portrait format alright so they'll look good on a mobile device as well as on a PC or a Mac computer across platforms so once I've got that in the in the uh, portrait uh, format then I go into save as and I'll pick the um, file here and I'll go to save as PNG. Now it's down below, I know, um, here where you can't see it, but you just click the save as. And then once you click save, they'll, uh, what it will do is it will create a new folder. And that folder, yes, it wants to replace the folder I've already got that exists. So I'll go ahead and click OK to that just for a demonstration. So what it does is it creates a new folder with individual pictures just like it says here each slide of your presentation has been saved um, as a separate folder in the in the folder as a separate file in the folder users so we'll go there now and I'll show you what that looks like now you see here's the folder I got I saved it to my desktop uh, I'm sorry in downloads intercultural uh, 9 that's the folder and it opens up and then here's all the individual um, slides Okay, so they're now saved as pictures. Now what we'll do is we'll take that and we'll upload it to VoiceThread. Okay, so here we are at VoiceThread and we go to my computer and I'll go to um, where's let me do and find my downloads here in just a second. There's the intercultural training. There's all the slides. I'll select all of them. I'll do a shift and hold all the way down and click open. And you'll see here that VoiceThread will now upload each of these um, slides. It does this pretty quick and does a really nice job. Here's all the slides from the presentation are uploaded individually. Now we want to get that video. We want to upload that video and paste and put that right here after this I don't I didn't know slide. Okay, so I'll show you how to do the video. Remember we copied in uh, to our clipboard that URL 
for that video. So I'm going to hit uh, Control V or Command V, depending on what um, device you're on. I'm going to pause this, and here is the download. Hello, everyone. Neil Brown okay. with Bill Doctor in the so International. I'm going to go ahead and click this and go to 360p and have it start downloading. And it shows up on my computer that it's beginning to um, download. It's been added. Now this little deal comes up from Wondershare, and I'll put up uh, Wondershare YouTube downloader so you can uh, see that. Let me minimize this screen here. Pause this a second. See, I want to show you guys this download is pretty quick. Uh, it's not a very long video clip, and I would recommend that you keep your video clips to, from YouTube and others, you know, three to five minutes max. One to three minutes are really good, and and download fast, and these will be downloaded as a flash video. So this is coming into the Wondershare uh, free YouTube downloader. Now it's put in my library, and there it is. You see I've downloaded a couple times just for illustrative purposes. Now once it's on my in my computer, I can then go and get it and put it onto the uh, voice thread in that presentation. Now Wondershare free YouTube downloader, you just Google that and you can get that uh, download it and then um, it'll automatically put that um, download feature right here that we see into your um, YouTubes. So then you just you have to do that and then it'll go into your YouTube uh, downloader and into your computer wherever you decide to map it to go and then you can then get your files and upload which we'll show you now uh, to the um, voice thread. All right, so we're back here at the voice thread, and I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to look for the video that we just uploaded. Go to all my files, and there's American Slang, the latest one it was in. I'll just double-click that, and you see it'll start to um, upload it to the uh, voice thread. And you see it over here, just behind this cancel deal here is it's uploading it and then it'll process it and get it ready. This usually doesn't take very too long depending again on the size of your video and, and that sort of thing. There we go, we see it. Here's the video now. It's up here and I want to put it over here just behind the I didn't know slide. Now it's ready to go. I can click uh, comment and I can begin to comment. I can look through the slide. There's the, the presentation, the uh, video that was just uploaded, and we can click play on it and listen. Hello, everyone. Neil Brown with Bill Doctor of the International Business Committee. Bill in America, we speak English. We also speak American. Hello, everyone. Neil Brown with Bill Doctor in the International Business Minute. Bill in America, we oh, speak cool. English. Uh, we now, also speak American, which original, is sort of a lot of colloquialisms uh, and figures here. of speech. And they don't understand. This is where. Um, we can go ahead and make our comments. We can do uh, the phone, obviously, um, or some people will use that if they don't have an internet connection or a um, access to um, a microphone or a keyboard. But uh, most of the students will use their um, record, their audio. Um, some will do video, and then you have the option to type, or you could upload comments that you heard maybe at a conference or. Uh, something you downloaded and you just wanted to put some audio comments into a presentation you could upload those from there as well and then you can make your comments on your presentation and go through alright and then once you're done with that then you go ahead and click the share button like we showed earlier get the link uh, select individuals from your courses um, copy the link and send it out through your email service in your course management system and then you'd be all ready to go. Different um, sections here, uh, depending on which course it is. Obviously, this one is the Intercultural 515, and so we could send that out there or just go through my contacts. But this one, I'd probably just get a link, click the Copy the Link button, copies it to my clipboard, and then I can go ahead and paste it into my course management system.